Hi everyone, welcome to this video. We are looking at uh, question number six uh, of the FAM S sample questions. And we have already looked at quite a few. Uh, we're just continuing. Uh, let's look at number six uh, and see what we need to do. Okay, uh, you're given claim size uh, in this box on the left, and then we have given number of claims, and we asked to assume a uniform distribution of claim sizes within uh, each interval. <clears throat> and um, okay, and we asked to calculate, take note of what they want to calculate. Yeah, you want to calculate the expected value of x squared minus the expected value of x limited by 150, whole thing squared. <clears throat> so, uh, this is what we're going to find. Let me just okay. So, expected value of x squared minus uh, the expected value of x limited by one fifty whole thing squared. So, we are dealing with second moments. Uh, we can take care of expected value of x squared very quickly. The expected value of x squared is just uh, x squared f x dx, and then we are going from uh, zero to two hundred. That's what you see here. <clears throat> okay. And then for x limited by 150, whole thing squared, uh, basically basically up to 150 is just the value of x. So again, up to 150 is just the value of x. So I've got uh, x squared fx dx, 0 to 150. And then more than 150, we'll take 150, the value. So it'll be 150 squared uh, fx dx, yeah? uh, going from 150 to 200. Again, let me say that again, right? <clears throat> we are trying to find the expected value of x limited by 150 whole thing squared. So up to 150, uh, pretty easy, just x. So it's, we have x squared fx. So we are integrating from 0 to 150, x squared fx dx. And then uh, more than 150, we have 150 squared. The value of x is just 150. So 150 squared fx dx. Take note, the limits going from 150 to 200. So the question says you want to find this minus this. So we take this minus this. And that's why I wrote here 1 minus 2. I've labeled this as 1. Okay, I've labeled this as 1. I've labeled this as 2. As you can see, you take 1 minus 2. Uh, just look at the limits, right? You're going from 0 to 200. And then you're going from 0 to 150. So if you take 1 minus the other, you'll get 150 to 200. Okay, 150 to 200, the upper limit and the lower limit. Uh, x squared fx dx uh, minus this thing here, which is 150 squared, uh, going from 150 to 200, fx dx. Basically, we are done, right? Basically, we are done. Um, what we need is the density function. So I help you along. We are looking at uh, 150 to 200. So we are looking at this uh, interval. So let me just use this picture that I've drawn. I hope you can see it clearly. 100 to 200. And what we need is the PDF, right? The density function. So the probability here, that will be 6 divided by, if you add all these up, uh, 25 plus uh, 28 is 53. 53, and then I've got plus 15, 68, plus 6, 74. So the probability here of this will be given by the area here, right? Will be 6 over 74. That's what you see here, okay? This thing here, okay? This probability here will be uh, 6 over 74. So I need the PDF, which is the height, which is what I need, right? This is what I need. So I can take uh, fxx times, what is this? 100. Therefore, my density function will be equals to 6 over 7400. Zero, zero. Okay, that's what you see here. Again, let me say it again, if you didn't catch it. Uh, we are looking at this interval, right? Claim size 0 to 100. And so uh, we are looking at this little rectangle here. And so this, beside, this is pretty good. And we know probability is given by your length times your breadth. So this thing is what we don't know, which is your PDF. So I just take my PDF, multiply it by my 100 here, 200 minus 100. That should give me my probability, which is 6 over the total number of claims here is 74, 6 over 74. So you bring your 100 down, you get your PDF as 6 over 7400. That rest of it is just plain gain integration. You can go and deal with it. It's not hard. Uh, I've done uh, all the work here. And uh, let me just move this up a little bit. Okay, clean up the integration, just be a bit careful. Uh, very simple integration. 
you take one uh, one two five zero minus nine one two point one six two, you get three three seven point eight three eight. So your correct response will be C. Um, you can also do it the long way, right? You can do the long way going interval by interval. Um, I've also tried doing that, and you'll get the same answer, right? Uh, of course, a little bit of uh, rounding uh, differences, but you'll get the same answer. But this is a pretty unique way to do it. Uh, not unique. Uh, it's a simple way to do it. You, you, all you need to know is how how x divided by 150 is defined and so on. Okay? Very quickly, well, that is number six. Uh, go through it. And very quickly, number seven, right? Uh, number seven is a very simple question. Um, let's see. Okay, question number seven. Uh, the number of uh, claims follows a negative binomial distribution with parameters beta and R, where beta is unknown and R is, beta is unknown and R is known. Good. You wish to estimate beta based on N observations, where X bar is the mean of these observations. So determine the uh, MLE of beta, right? So uh, what you can do is you can use the uh, normal method that we use in MLE, that means set up the uh, likelihood and log likelihood, take the derivative, set to zero. I think that's what they have done in your the solution that is provided on the SOA website. Yeah, you can look it up. Yeah, the solution that is provided on the SOA website. But here I'm saying question number seven, you don't have to do all that, right? Because you know the mean of the uh, negative binomial distribution, okay, uh, with parameters R, R and beta will just be R beta. Let me get my pen out. Okay. So the mean, right, of your negative binomial distribution with parameters R and beta will be just R beta. And the MLE of the mean will just be X bar. So we can write R beta equals to X bar, okay? Therefore, my beta head will be just X bar over R. And your correct response will be B. And we're done, right? So uh, I've made a comment there. See the sample solution on the SOA website. Uh, they have used the traditional uh, MLE method. It's fine as well, okay? You'll get the same answer, right? Um, beta head will be X bar over R. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you next time.